Hi, welcome back to our channel and back to the tutorial for PLSQL. Today I'm going to continue the topic that means I'm going to say about the Oracle PLSQL that is if then else statements. Else if, else if, nested if also. If you like the channel, please subscribe and share with your friends and please kindly check the playlist for more updates. So decision making statement it's almost like C, C language when you have a uh, deep knowledge in C language even SQL also I already told you if you know the SQL for you feel SQL is very easy for you so here decision making statements always help to decide the flow control of statements based on the conditions and also a programmer what they have what is the use means exactly the programmer can have better control of preventing a particular code from executing or choosing a desired code based on the conditions. I'm going to use laser pointer. Yeah. So here, let's see the exam uh, pictorial uh, diagram of this decision making statement. So this is the one. So condition if then specific a text, then execute only if condition matches. Then regular flow independent of condition. And another way you can say condition specific text execute only if condition matches then move to the regular flow independent of condition or another option specific text execute only if condition matches your first one is a if stay if then so here it's a one of the statement where you should execute a particular section of codes only when the condition satisfied if the condition is satisfied then we can go for it here the syntax is if condition return boolean then Executed only if the condition true returns true. Action block end if. So uh, it's somewhat different when compared to SQL, PL, SQL, somewhat different. So you can try out this coding and with example also. And here, example, how you can say means suppose you I want print a message when the number is greater than 100, then you can use the following code like this only declare, then you can go for a number is equal to colon equal 10, then I'm write begin. Then DBMS output line that is program started. So to print like this as it is, then I'm giving the condition if a greater than 100, then the condition true, then go with the DBS output, output dot output underline is a a is greater than. So once uh, and if at last completed, once give the program, it will generate the output like this program started and program completed. This is a very simple example understanding about if then statement. Then go for another one that is if then else statement so as as of now similar to c language only it also used to select between two alternatives based on the condition and this is in syntax so if condition returns boolean then executed only if the condition returns to returns true action block else execute if the condition fail return false action underscore block to end if this is the simple syntax for if then else statement let's go for the simple example so how we can write so we can write the program like this declare a number is called is colon is called 11 and continue the program begin dbms underscore output dot put line of program started then i'm going to give the condition if mod of a comma 2 is equal to 0 then i'm going to write the code that is output a is even number else if the condition fails it go to the another statement that is dbms dot output dot put line of a is add number and if dbms output uh, put underscore line of program completed end and with slash so once you give the program, it will check. So as of you know, when I give the input 11, it automatically become even number that is uh, a comma 2 is equal to 0 concept. So here it will say a is odd number. Next time, at the end time, if you want, you can change 2. If you give the 12, the answer will become a is even number like that only. So once you execute the program, it will give the output like this. Generate the output like program started, a is odd number and program completed at last. So simple program for understanding the to print odd number or even number then if then else is one so here this also one of the statement needed where one alternative should be chosen from a set of alternatives where each alternative has its own condition to be set satisfied moreover it may contain else block in it and also it will execute that none of the conditions satisfied it's almost what you can say exactly you can say about uh, exactly you can say about or compare with the switch statement in the c language so here the syntax is like that if condition returns boolean then executed only the condition returns to action block then elif condition 2 returns boolean action underscore block then again elif condition 3 and so on at last else optional action block else end if so remember here what they are saying 
a any alternative from the setup alternative the condition is condition is satisfied based on any one let's see the example you get more clarity so here there will be example given here we are going to print the grade based on the given mark the else condition that is mark greater than equal to 70 grade a if at all mark greater than or equal to 40 only that means below 72 range of 40 and mark less than 70 grade b if the mark greater than equal to 35 and mark less than 40 grade c else it will display no grade again repeating it's almost like a switch where the switch here default statement so here how can write means sir can write the program declare mark number colon is equal to 25 and begin i'm writing the output line as program starter and if mark greater than equal to 70 i'm going to write then print grade a L if I'm going to the condition a mark greater than equal to 40 and mark less than 70 then what I mentioned the program same only then I continue the program with our grade B L if mark less than that uh, equal to 35 and between mark less than uh, what you can say grade C if at all condition fails that means it may be a 10 or 5 or 0 or uh, anything the condition become fails it print no grade and if DBMS I'm going to write the program program completed so once you executed the program what will happen it will give the answer uh, that is generate the output like program started no grade program completed we means uh, because i give the mark here is 25 so uh, suppose i want to change what you can do next time i can change as suppose i'm changing the mark is 75 it will print the grade is, the answer is grade a so you can check and do the corrections run time also and last uh, next step is that this is one of the allow basically one Allow the programmers to what you can place on one or more if condition. Here, each condition should have a separate end if statement which makes the end of scope of the particular action block. So, again, you can say the syntax here if condition return boolean. Then, then you can say it look like a nested if statement similar in the C language. As of you know, the C language you can use a group of nested if that means if under an inner loop and again inner loop, again inner loop, and so on. Similarly, you can use here if condition return boolean, then action block to end if and end if correspond to the condition to at last we can complete with end if and end if like that the example let's see the smallest program to understand or get uh, to find or determine the greatest of three numbers so if you want to write, find it the same as a a value b value c value anything you can give like this declare a number is equal to 10 you can write and b number is equal to 15 and c number is 20 so now i'm going to write the program begin dbms output or line uh, program starter then i'm going to get the condition of if k a greater than b then what happened then we can give the first nest if like this dbms checking nest if if a greater than c then it will compare a and b and again it compare a and c then write a is greatest suppose condition true else it will go and print automatically c is greatest and if and continue the program so else nested if if the writing checking nest if to if b greater than c then what happened it will print the output as a b is greatest else it will print automatically c is greatest and at last you can complete the program with the program permitter so once you execute the program it automatically print the answer like program started then you check a number is 10 b number is 15 and c number is uh, 20 so at last it print the output like this program started checking nested if to then c is greatest at last print program is completed so simple and program again repeating at runtime if you want you can change value suppose i'm giving a value is 35 it will print the answer is program started and uh, here checking next if and it will print a is greatest like that so based on the program condition i hope that you understand the idea about uh, the if else statement in the field school if you like if you like the video please subscribe share with your friends and thank you for watching the video thank you